All right, chip of the day. Chip of the day is a uh, 7475, um, or uh, there it is, 7475. Um, the 7474 is a very popular D flip-flop, and then the 7475 uh, kind of expands on that, and it's four D latches. Uh, they're kind of like a flip-flop, like a D flip-flop. They're not edge-triggered. Um, they are level-triggered, and there's a D input, and then there's a Q and a not Q output, okay? Now, the data sheet has a really ugly... A logic symbol that looks uh, that looks like this, which is very very silly. So anyway, um, this is what it has in it. Let me zoom out a bit here. There we go. So it has four D latches. Uh, the D's come out D one, D two, D three, D four. Okay, and then the clock, the uh, logic level clock. Uh, these two are tied together and these two are tied together. So I don't know why they decided to call it a four bit latch. It really is two, it's a dual two bit latch. Okay, here's two bits and here's two bits. You can use, you can use these two all by themselves or you can use these two all, all by themselves because the clocks are separate. Now you could tie the clocks together and make it into a four bit latch, but it really is a dual two bit latch. Um, and I had kind of missed that when I first was introduced to 7475. It's not that I used them all that much. Uh, better parts came out long, uh, later on um, it, when the 300 series of 74 parts came out. Um, and I used those uh, like 8-bit eight, eight latches and stuff. Because you really don't need Q and not Q. You just need Q. Um, but this one has both Q and not Q coming out of it. All right. And uh, so like I said before, this, these are not... Uh, edge level, they are um, high-low level, okay, just state level, um, which means you can make the clock high, and that means that it's enabled all the time. So whatever D is doing, Q is doing, it just goes right straight through. This is called a transparent latch. So if your latch is transparent, then any changes on the D input will be changes on the Q out, but it's transparent. It will just go straight through there by having the having it high. Um, so let's demonstrate that here. Um, I have a 7475, and I have I'm I'm just going to be operating on these two, on these two uh, right here. Now this is what I have hooked up. I have a uh, LED. Okay, this is an LED. Um, and it's tied to uh, 5 volts, and I've tied it to not Q, and I've tied this to 5 volts. That's so that when not Q is low, it's on. It's the same as having Q high, and the reason I do that is the old 7400 parts could not drive signals high, but they could drive signals low. So if you wanted to do something like turn things on, you had to be turning them on in the down state because that's where the transistors were the uh, most powerful. In the up state, you had like 120 ohm or 250 ohm resistor or something in there, and you couldn't really turn on LEDs. Um, and so you had to turn them on in the low state. So that's why I have it tied here. But you can think of the LED as the Q state. If the LED is on, that means Q is high. If the LED is off, that means Q is low. Okay. So right now, both Qs are high. Q1 and Q2, they're both high. And the um, clock is high also, which means these should be transparent. So if I uh, lower D1, you can see the output changes. When I lower D2, the output, the output changes, okay? So I have a transparent latch, okay? Let's say I have this state, and then I pull the clock low, okay? Now I pulled the clock out. Now, no matter what I do on the it inputs, of the, I'm changing the inputs of the latch. So I'm tying it high, I'm tying it low. Um, the output is latched. It's, it's, it's staying where it is. Now this is like a memory device, right? This is a four bit memory. It remembers. Um, and so latches and memory, um, memory is usually uh, a whole bunch of things, but this is a simple uh, register simple latch, simple memory device, okay? And that's all this thing is. If we uh, take the clock uh, off, then it goes to the um, 
transparent state and things are just things are go going through. So if you wanted to use this in a circuit, you would have some type of state that would happen here on D1, D2, D3. And then when you uh, raised the clock, that let, it, let all the Q values go. And then when you lowered the C clocks, then it would hold that information. Now, it's level sensitive, so you're going to have the, 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 the Q outputs change. Um, a clock edge-driven flip-flop or memory device is better if you want to not have anything changing on the output. You have a, you have a single clock that says, okay, this is when we're going to change and everybody's going to change at the same time and it won't be transparent. It'll only have it on, on edges and stuff. And so those sometimes are more valuable than, uh, than a device like this. Anyway, uh, that's all there is to it. It is a dual two-bit latch otherwise known as a 4-bit latch, 74, 75, chip of the day.